Subtitling is incredibly important in many ways. A few years ago, mainly for people with disabilities, but now also for people who prefer to watch video without sound on their phones. Luckily, with HeyGen, you can create them faster and easier than ever before. The service already has a superhuman grasp of which words were said where, especially if the video was created from a written script in HeyGen's script tool. On the page of a finished video, one that you have pressed Submit on and that has been processed, you will see a button for captions. Flip it to on and quickly skim through the text to check for errors. You can also play the video so that the subtitles are visible in the video player. If you discover something odd with the captions, you can go in and change them by clicking on Edit Captions. You have a few editing options and the only thing I've personally had to do in here before is to adjust the length of some piece of text that I thought disappeared before the viewer had time to finish reading. Then you have to go in and change the time codes manually, unfortunately, a bit fiddly, but it works. What you get here are verbatim subtitles. If you're a subtitling geek, you probably think it's a bad idea and then you can also easily go in here and simplify the subtitles for better readability. Maybe fix the hyphenation. When you're happy with your changes, Click the check mark to save them. Then the last step is to publish the subtitles by pressing Publish Captions. Then the viewer can turn the subtitles on or off themselves in the places where this is supported. Once the subtitles are published, a new option will appear among your download choices. Download captioned video, it is what it sounds like. You download a variant of your video with the subtitles burned into the video so that they are included in the video image and cannot be turned off by the viewer. It's great for places where, you know, a lot of people are watching without sound and you want to grab the viewer's attention quickly. For example, Facebook or LinkedIn. If you've worked with subtitles before, you know what an SRT file is. For others, it is a file that only contains subtitles and timecodes. It can be uploaded along with your video on most services to provide the functionality for the viewer to turn the subtitles on and off themselves or to choose the language of the subtitles. You can therefore download the SRT file by itself among your download options. There is currently no option to change the appearance of the subtitles, so you will find yourself in the size and font that is standard here.